What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm gonna to be making a cocktail for you called a Cosmonaut, which was created by Sasha Petrosky for Milk and Honey in 2004. It is a Cosmo variation that is just really fun. And, and what I love about it is that it actually only takes its sugar from raspberry preserves. Uh, and uh, so it's like kind of dry and a little bit, and very tart from the lemon. Uh, but then it has this nice sugar pop uh, from the raspberry preserves. So when you do this cocktail, since I guess we're getting into it now, you wanna take a very heaping bar spoon. Maybe even like a bar spoon and a half of raspberry pres preserves. And then, super simple. I mean, this is like a three ingredient drink. We're doing three quarters an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Two ounces of gin. I'm using beef feeder, a nice, very typical London dry gin. You know, you get those nice botanicals, you get a nice citrus pop from it as well. And that is it. That is your whole cocktail. There's three ingredients. And we're just going to take some ice cubes. And what I like about this is that this is actually just the, like, quote unquote, like, junk ice from cutting blocks. You can just take all that ice, the uh, stuff that splinters off, if you have any, and then you can make uh, shaking ice out of it. So you don't waste anything, right? Since I was talking about sustainability lately, what's more sustainable than reusing... So then, not reusing, but using every piece of ice. And we're just gonna shake it. All right. There we go. And then I'm gonna double strain because that raspberry preserves is going to have seeds in it. And I wanna get rid of those seeds. So we're just gonna Double strain into our Nick and Nora here. You can also use a cocktail glass. You can also use a coupe. Just bear in mind that this cocktail is going to be a little less voluminous. So I like to use a nice five ounce Nick and Nora. You get a nice wash line there, but it's also filling the glass. It looks nice. And then um, I've been really thinking about just like upping my garnish game lately. So technically this drink is actually served without a garnish, but I want to have like a nice little lemon. So I cut this little lemon thing and then just like these little golden wings. And I'm just gonna, hold on, put it there like that. See, that looks nice, doesn't it? Doesn't that look nice? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it now. Ooh, oh yeah, nice and tart. But the raspberry preserves gives it like, it gives it like a jammy quality. And you do have, the sugar does absolutely balance it out. But you, and, and also, you know, it plays so well with the gin playing up all the citrus, but you know, your main things right there are going to be the gin and those raspberry preserves. And then you just get that tartness. It's just like super in balance. Meaning and what I mean by in balance is that you can taste all of the ingredients as a whole, as like a new flavor, but then also you can pick out the separate parts of the cocktail. Um, it's wonderfully complex, nice and dry. Uh, a great summer sipper, something that's like, this is what I want on a hot day. And I got these nice little golden wings. So there you have it, my friends, the Cosmonaut. I will see you guys on the next one. And please hit like and subscribe and definitely check out our Patreon. I've got some new stuff going on there. I rejiggered a lot of the tiers. We're offering some great stuff, so you should check us out. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, toodaloo.